Pleading for the public's help in finding their missing teenager now say they are facing threats and demands for ransom. Zion has been missing from her East Point home for one week now. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham has the very latest on the case and insight from a former FBI agent. The family of Zion Foster says they've been receiving a number of tips from people who believe they've had possible sightings of her, like one here at a gas station in Detroit near her last track location. But they say they've also been receiving tips from people clearly trying to prey upon their desperation. They're coming with information stating that they have my baby held hostage um, or that uh, she's going to be sold or um, she's going to be killed. Sierra Milton just wants her daughter, 17 year old Zion Foster home safe. Last seen last week, Tuesday, the 4th. Milton says a cousin came to pick Zion up and took her to his home on Detroit's west side. But elaborate text messages like this one demanding money, claiming Zion is going to be taken to another state and threats of sex trafficking are agonizing. Milton says one tipster took information she posted online about her daughter and pretended to know it firsthand. You know, I'm spastic, I'm desperate. I want my baby back. I ended up giving $200. She says Detroit police and East Point police checked out the supposed location, but it was a dead end. This tipster demanded $7,000. I spoke with former FBI agent John Anthony on extortion attempts in these types of situations. It's not all that unusual in this age of technology. The problem is how do you decipher the good from the bad? If someone was truly uh, helping want, want to help to locate the, the missing person, uh, that would that would be the last thing that they would do. Milton says she's been able to view her daughter's phone records and conversations with the cousin who claims he hasn't seen her in a while. He was trying to, you know, talk to her and get with her and things like that. She's underaged. Um, then I find out that drugs and things like that are also included in this. So I don't know what their lifestyle is. I don't know what they're about. I spoke with a lieutenant from East Point Police twice today. He says he's got three detectives on the case, including himself. He says they are making this a top priority and they're working with Detroit Police. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Now, if you have any information about this case, please call East Point Police at 586-445-5100.